guys, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to tell you about all my adventures and all the cool things that I did at Emerald City Comic Con. actually four days long but I only got to go for one day sadly but I had a pass actually two for all four days I spent most of my day walking across the convention center waiting in line talking to authors and people it was crazy and the panel went pretty well I guess if you want to watch the panel the link will be down below I was so tired at the end of the day and it was just a whirlwind of a day so starting off I decided to schedule an interview one hour after I arrived to the convention center well, it's called Stone Guardian it's the first of the entwined wrong series modern fantasy or a fantasy romance. It's got everything. So if you like fantasy and you like the romance, whichever side you fall on on that, that's the book to start with. Go contact Grace however she sets it up. And there'll be a free code for you to actually download Stone Guardian. And then after that I went to go see a panel and I met a publicist for Fierce Read so that was really cool. I wasn't able to go to the signing after the panel and so the publicist that I met up with was very kind to take my book and sign it for me. I haven't gotten it in the mail yet sadly so I would show it to you if I had it with me but I don't. After that I went to go to the booktube panel to you know like speak on it because you know that's what you do when you're a panel List. And then after that, I went to interview another author, and then I went to go see panels, and then I interviewed this rock musician from the Joko Cruise, which is like a nerd convention, but it's on water, because it's on a cruise. It's just a bunch of fun, and there are authors that go, so if you're interested in something like that, information on the cruise will be down below. Joko Cruise is a week-long festival at sea of comedians, musicians, authors, speakers, tabletop gaming. We try to take the best parts of a con, none of the bad parts, and put all the best parts of a con on board a cruise ship that is run by probably 1,500 nerds. If you are a fan of science fiction and fantasy, chances are you're a nerd, chances are you're gonna find some of your people here. In between all of those things, I walked back and forth from different buildings to go to the exhibit hall, so that way I could go get more free books. So I wanna show you guys all the books that I got. I ended up getting 16 books and a sampler. I think that's pretty crazy because I was carrying these all day and yeah. Shout out to Quirk Books and the University Bookstore for having free bags for me to carry around my books in because if I had not had bags to carry around books in, I do not know how I would have survived the day. And waking up the next morning after the convention, I was like, oh, I have biceps now because my arms were so sore from carrying around so many books. I also have a really exciting giveaway. I have two signed books for two winners. What will happen is that you guys can enter at the link down below. There are a lot of links down below. The first winner that is chosen will get to pick their book of choice, and then the second winner will get the other book. There's also going to be an author spiel at the end of this video where you get to like know the authors that I got to talk to. They're just going to be answering some simple questions. Cool video today. I know. So I have these books. The first two books that I have are actually the giveaway books. I have Alive by Scott Sigler and Sleeping Giants by Sylvia Neville. Both of these books are signed. Pretty cool. You want me to prove it to you? Signed! And then we have this one. Signed! Both of these books are science fiction and they sound really good. I know for sure that this is young adult. This is a little bit less of the young adult genre. I've heard that they're really good too. The author of Sleeping Giants is like the nicest guy ever. Hi, I'm Sylvia Neville. This is my book, Sleeping Giants, coming out April 26th. And you should really read it sometime. And then Scott Sigler is also really nice too and he is so hilarious. It's great. Was I anything like any of my characters when I was their age? No, none of my characters are that obnoxious. I am a coffee person, first three cups of the day, and then we move over to tea. Watching him on his panel was like, oh my god, I need to hold in the laughter. I need to hold it in, otherwise I'm gonna pee myself. Enter at the link down below where it says, enter the giveaway here to maybe win this book or that book. You never know. All right, international residents, prepare yourself. This giveaway is US only. I apologize for my inability to ship to countries other than my own. I wish things could be different, but they're not. But hey, US residents, your chances of winning one of these two books have just increased because the international people are like, I can't enter this giveaway. Grace, just host an international giveaway before I unsubscribe from you. I'm sorry, I just like, I just, I can't. I don't, I don't know how, I'm not bad. Don't unsubscribe. International people, it'll be your day. One day. And then I also have a sampler of Seeker by Arwen Ellis Dayton, and this is actually also signed. So isn't that cool? The author of this will be featured in my author spiel at the end of this video. And then I have The Cold Between by Elizabeth Bonesteel. That is an awesome last name right there. Bonesteel. Like, yo, what's up? I'm Elizabeth Bonesteel and I'm a f badass. Those are just all the vibes that I get off of this author's last name right here. <laughs> <laughs> Not to be like judgmental or anything, but I just looked on the back of this book. And this, my friends, is the author picture of Elizabeth Bonesteel. 
I'm sorry, that's actually like the meanest thing, but like, oh my god. I just found that so funny because like when I hear the name Elizabeth Bone Steel, I think of the Elizabeth Bone Steel right here. But then you actually see Elizabeth Bone Steel. Sorry guys, that's kind of mean, but oh my god, that's so hilarious. I also have Jericho by Alex Gordon and The Passage by Justin Gronin. Oh, and I forgot to mention that there were two tables that I actually got a bunch of free books from. One was actually a publisher booth and another was just like a table of free books that no one was taking books from, so I just took them all. And then we have some smaller sized books, not in width, but height. Dark Transmissions by Davila LeBlanc and the author actually followed me on Instagram, but I didn't follow him back because I just didn't. And then we have The Warden Man by Peter V. Brett. This book is actually signed, so if I can get this, you'll see that this book is signed. Hounded by Kevin Hearn, who I actually interviewed in my author video upcoming. It's coming, just keep on watching. This is also signed. Dark Alchemy by Laura Bickle. And then The Elfstone of Shannara by Terry Brooks. And if you look closely, you can see like a fallen down space needle in the background of this cover. This is probably like post-apocalyptic Seattle or something. According to the back of this book, one of the most popular fantasy tales of all time. Now an epic TV series on MTV. I don't have cable and I don't watch TV, so I would not know of this information. But if anyone watches MTV and knows of this, ah! yes. uh, like I was saying, if anyone watches MTV and knows of this TV show and it's good, like hit me up. I want to know. Maybe I'm interested in getting cable so that way I can watch this. Ship of Magic by Robin Hobb, an author that I also interviewed. <laughs> oh my god, this book. This book! Oh, Seven Psychos by Marcella Rockwell and Jeffrey J. Marriott. I probably butchered these authors' last names, but I did not butcher their last names as badly as they butchered the spelling of psychos. They spelled psychos S Y K O S. Psychos is spelled P S Y C H O S. Psychos? and psychos. <sighs> and then we have The Forgotten by Bishop O'Connell. <laughs> Okay, I just dropped another book. Killing Pretty by Richard Kadri, which is rated R for Hellfire, Gunfire, and all manner of ass-kicking action. That's actually really funny. This cover is designed like a way a movie DVD would be designed. It's great. I was actually going to interview the author of this book, but then he was like, I cut myself with my shaver and I don't look presentable, so can we not do this interview? And I laughed for so long. It was so great. The Darwin Elevator by Jason Men Huff and Star Wars Aftermath by Chuck Winding. Yeah, so that was my Emerald City Comic Con book haul. I hope you enjoyed it. Now, for the author spiel, I basically asked all these authors the five same questions and they all answered it differently after every question Like a bunch of authors will say something and then another question will go and then a bunch of authors will say something I hope you enjoy it. Three, two, one, go! Author! Describe your books in five words or less. Urban fantasy romance. Urban fantasy, Irish, Irish mythology, druid, dark fantasy, and comics. Very, 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 very awesome. Epic fantasy, dragons, magical ships, pirates, assassins, everything you Science fiction, adventure, sex, romance. Muskets and magic and cowboy Family, betrayal, fighting, escape, redemption. Oh, brilliant. I'm <laughs> oh, sorry, five words or less. Okay. Can we just keep in this always? Yes. Okay, oh, fantastic. Freedom fighter, love lost, hope. Scientifically accurate, bloody, action packed. Murder on the Orient Express in space, human, alien, buddy cop movie. Describe your writing or personality in three words or less. First person badassery. Morally ambiguous, complicated. No, I can't. Action, some romance, questions of duty and power. Science fiction, adventure, sex, and romance. No. <laughs> My writing is very seat of the pants. <laughs> Three words or less is really hard. Dark, futuristic, with a lot of combat. This is bogus. Uh, I would say my writing is emotional. Mm -hmm. This is actually hard. These are hard questions. Uh, They're supposed to go really fast. Sorry, no. Emotional. I'm trying to be humble here. Oh. Emotional, yeah. humble, beautiful. Discipline, detail oriented. Energetic and cinematic. Awesome yeah. nerd convention at sea. What's your next project? Continuing my Entwined Realm series, which is a modern fantasy romance series. There's romance, there's swords, there's magic, there's kissing bits, there's a decapitation or two. I'm working on an epic fantasy called The Plague of Giants. So I'm writing a Time Finder comics so right now. Next month, May 3rd. And the fifth John Cleaver book comes out. It's called Over Your Dead Body. It is the one where I set out specifically to make you cry. My current project I'm working on is the conclusion to the trilogy of The Fits and the Fool, and it will be called Assassin's Fate. The next project is called Defiant. It's the third book in this series. That will be out early next year. I'm working on the fourth book in the Forbidden Library series, and then the fifth book in the Shadow Campaign series. I'm writing a series of books, starting with Seeker. The second one is Traveler, and I'm right in the middle of writing the third book, Disruptor. My next project is Iron Gold, which actually takes place in the Red Rising universe. And it's a trilogy after this initial.
Generations Trilogy. Sorry, that's... Next project is Alone, which is book three of the Generations Trilogy. And there will be a giveaway for this. This is Alive. This is book one of the Generations Trilogy. You should win this. My next project is actually out on submission right now. It's called A Hole in the Fence, and it is a sci-fi comedy. My album, which we just now finished, it's called Solid State. What's your favorite part about Emerald City Comic Con? Actually meeting people and seeing people in costume and how much fun they're having. Doing panels is always my favorite part. I love hearing myself talk. It's like perfect. I really love the flavor of this particular con. It's like busy, but it's not too enormous, and there's kind of a cool, nerdy, laid-back feeling. Meeting Grace. Meeting Grace. Meeting Grace. Pretzels were very good. My favorite part about ECC has got to have been the cosplay. I've seen some just amazing stuff running around here. One of my favorite things about conventions is people watching, and specifically cosplay. This is the thing about being a 45-year-old man. You realize that you are slowly losing touch with culture. So I'm walking around and I'm seeing people cosplaying things I have no idea what they are. Has there been any book that you've read that has changed your life? Dune by Frank Herbert definitely changed my life. It made me believe what sci-fi could be. Probably too many. I'm going to have to be cliche and go with George Martin's song, Vice the Fire. Dune by Frank Herbert, totally life-changing. I would say she spot run. There's several. The the primary one would be Sequel by Jack London. Speaker for the Dead by Orson Scott Card. I'm a big fan of John Scalzi, who grew up with Tolkien. Thank you to all the authors for letting me videotape them, even though they're like, I don't know. But you did it anyways! Good job! That is it for my Emerald City Comic Con coverage. I also have a vlog on my vlog channel. Yes, I still post vlogs on my vlog channel. I've kind of neglected my vlog channel, and I have a bunch of vlogs that are ready to upload, but I have not posted them yet for some reason. But make sure you subscribe to my vlog channel, so that way you are going to be up to date on all of my vlogs. Also follow me on Instagram. Instagram at Lovingdom Books. Also follow me on Twitter at some weird jumble of my name. And then also add me on Snapchat at GracieX, which is also the name of my vlog channel. Subscribe to my vlog channel. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you liked it even more, please subscribe to my channel. My name's Grace. I'll see you in another video. Bye! Ah, I did it! I'm holding all of these books. You guys have no idea how hard it is to hold all of these paperback books. Maybe you do, but it's quite difficult. No, I dropped one!